Birds beginning with C. Birds beginning with C, Richard. We're about to show you five images now of birds. They all begin with C. We just need to tell us the most obscure of these. They've all got one word names according to the RSPB website. Very best of luck. OK, thanks, Richard. Let's reveal our five birds beginning with C, and here they are. We have got A. B. C. D. And E. There we are. Five birds beginning with C. Now, Estelle and Kath, you've played best throughout the show so far, so you get to go first. Right. I haven't actually seen any A's in my garden, but I reckon A is a capercaillie. A capercaillie for A, say Estelle and Kath. Now, Sophie and Alex, do you fancy taking us through the rest of the board? <laughs> I'd love to try it, Xander. I, I, I think um, we're going to plump with um, B, which we're going to say is a chaffinch. B, a chaffinch, say Sophie and Alex. B, a chaffinch. So we have capercaillie versus chaffinch. Estelle and Kath said capercaillie for A. Let's see if that's right. And if it is, let's see how many of our 100 people said it. Capercaillie. <laughs> Absolutely right. Very well done indeed, Estelle. That's a brilliant answer. Look at your score. Look at that. Nine. Very well done indeed. Lovely low score there. Sophie and Alex have gone for Chaffinch for B. Let's see if that's right. And if it is, let's see how many people said Chaffinch. Well, it's right, but it's got to be nine. No, 43. 43 for Chaffinch. Still a good answer, but Estelle and Kath, very well done to you. After one question, you're up 1-0. Uh, yeah, the Chaffinch. It's the second commonest breeding bird in the UK. The capercaillie, however, is declining very rapidly. It's really in danger of, uh, of leaving the UK altogether. It's on the red list, the capercaillie. It's a very good answer, though. Uh, C is... It's a curlew. It is a curlew, yeah. And that would have scored you 22. Uh, D is a cuckoo. cuckoo. A cuckoo would have scored you 20. And E... Is that a crane? It is a crane, yes. And that would have scored you 31 points. Very well done to anyone who got all five of those. The best answer there is the Cabocali, so good work. Thanks very much indeed, Richard. So here comes your second question. Sophie and Alex, you need to win this one to stay in the game, but you do get to answer it first. It concerns... British landmarks. British landmarks, Richard. We're going to see five anagrams now of famous landmarks from around the UK. Where they commonly have the in front of their name, we've removed the the, but other than that, it's an anagram. Thanks very much indeed. OK, let's reveal our five anagrams of British landmarks, and here they are. Honest Jean, Looney's Far Up Thames, Worst Chief Fivefold, Up Rampant Chocolate and Lech Sons. Sophie and Alex, you'll go first this time. We're struggling a little bit with this one. Um, so I think we're going to go with Honest Jean as being Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Honest Jean, Stonehenge. So then, Estelle and Kath, you can take us through the board, if you like. <laughs> Someone needs to take us through the alphabet, I think. Um, um, we're just going to have to have a total guess. Oh, I don't know. In the middle one, Tower of London. <laughs> OK, Tower of London, you're going to say for Worst Chief Fivefold, Tower of London. OK, so we have Stonehenge versus Tower of London. Sophie and Alex said Stonehenge. Let's see if that's right. And if it is, let's see how many people said Stonehenge. It's right. 26. Now, Stella and Kath, you have said the Tower of London for the middle one. Let's see if that's right. And if it is, let's see how many people said Tower of London. No, bad luck. Very well done. Sophie and Alex, you're back in the game. After two questions, it's one all. No, such a difficult round, that one. It's because especially there's so many UK landmarks, you can't even do the thing of thinking of the landmark first and seeing if it fits a clue, because yeah. there's so many. The one at the bottom, some people might have got, it's Loch Ness. Oh. 
would have scored 30 points, though, so uh, wouldn't have won you the point. Now, loonies far up Thames. There's actually a clue in the question there. Where would you find loonies up the Thames? Find them in the Houses of Parliament. Oh, look at that! <laughs> and that would have scored you four points. Well done if you said that. Um, worst chief fivefold in a famous song. When you're coming on the ferry, you see... Oh, the White Cliffs of Dover. The White Cliffs of Dover, <laughs> there yeah. How we difficult are. is God. that? Two points. And up rampant chocolate is, uh, is a pointless answer. Uh, it's a big stately home. It's a big royal residence. It's Hampton Court, Court Palace. Palace. That's a pointless answer. If anybody got that, I'd doff my cap to you. That's terrific work. Wow.